Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to do a review on the Photo Sleeve Fuse from We Are Memory Keepers. Now I ordered this way back in January from a cherry on top. It was a pre-order and um, I finally got it in yesterday, April 20th. And today's my first day off. Of, I think I have six days off. Yeah, I start back on next Monday. And um, so I thought I'd do a review and I just got my new iPhone 6 so I thought it'd be perfect to do that. So I'll, I, I cut off the top there just so that I could open it. So let's see what's inside. So you get the tool and this is what it looks like. It looks like a wood burning tool. And I probably could have gotten that but I figured I could get the real thing and um, then you get that little ruler too. So this is the, the stuck in there really well. It's the photo sleeve fuse ruler and it's got a little slit in the middle so that you can cut. And then it's got little feet on it. It's almost like a rubber feet so that when you put it down it doesn't move around. And then this thing gets hot so this is um, a little rester that you can put your fuse on. And then you get two tips and the two different tips are this one here, it actually will cut your page protector. So if you want to make a hole in your page, like an extra um, like pocket, if you want to, let's say, make a pocket into a 4x6 and you want to make it two 3x4s, well, you could, this one here is to seal it. So you could seal it in the middle. Or, you know, cut it first and then seal it. And then all of a sudden your 4x6 is two 3x4s. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording. Because this thing has to heat up for about 10 minutes before I get to use it. So I'm going to heat it up and then I'll show you what this thing can do. Okay, so I'm back and the tool is all warmed up. And I got a bunch of uh, page protectors here. And what I'm most excited about is a couple of things. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but your page protectors, they're kind of ripped. And they just keep falling out. Like every time we turn this page, these two cards fall out. This is uh, my project, my December daily two years ago, so 2013. Only ended up doing, you know, a couple of days. But I still like them. I still don't want them falling all over the place. So I'm going to be, I'm going to try and fix that right here on camera. And the other thing I'm excited about, if you watched my December daily last year and the year before, I made these little pockets with uh, sequins. Well, now you'll be able to make them right in your page protector. You can, you know, tuck in your your um, sequins, your whatever little doodads you want to put in. And then you'll be able to seal your pocket. It'll just be right there, just sealed. So I can't wait to, to do that with my regular um, Project Life too, not just the December Daily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and seal these pockets with everything in it. And that might be kind of a task and a half because it's, it's kind of full, right? Like all the pockets are full. So maybe if I take the ones next to it out and then at least I won't have the bulging of these pockets. That's kind of funny because this is when I got my iPhone 5C and today I just got my iPhone 6. And uh, the main reason I got it is because my iPhone 5 um, I use my, my phone, I mean I use it for my phone, but what I use it even more for is filming and um, it's starting to get really pic pixelated, so I decided to get a new phone a little earlier. I was going to get mine in May, but I got it now. So basically, what you can do too is, to, you know, to make sure that you're going straight, use your grid if you have a grid on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my page protector is straight. So I'm using, this is number 14 right here. So I'm making sure that it's laying 
all the way through on number 14. Now I know I'm going straight. I don't have to worry about anything else. You know, it's going straight. Now I'm going to make sure that the cards are pushed right in. And then I'm going to hold it down. And this has little feet, so it shouldn't move once I have it down. And then... Like that. And I have to go in from the line, because I'm trying to make another... Another fuse, right? Next to that one. Now I'm going to try not to move. And I'm going to try and fuse that pocket so it stops falling out and <laughs> it worked oh here I missed I missed the page protector it's not that it didn't fuse it I'm just gonna go by hand there you go it's fused I think here I went twice and I actually cut it so make sure that you only go once. So down here, it started ripping too. So I'm going to refuse it. And I'm only going to go once. There you go. It's fused. The problem here is I forgot. You know, usually everything, you have to go twice. Here, I, d I went back and forth about to here. And then it ended up cutting it because it melted it twice. So it cut it. But yeah, it uh, at least it'll prevent it from falling out. It's not going anywhere anymore. So I love that. And then like I said, for to make those little pockets, you can just put everything in and then, then fuse it. So let's move this aside. And we'll put this down. And what I like also is let's say, you know, my, my last Project Life, on on this page protector I ended up ha actually having two pockets that I had three by fours instead of four by six so now what I can do is kind of measure it out and again I'm going to use my my grid I'm making sure everything is so it might not be exactly three by three because it seems to me that this pocket here is actually six and a quarter. So how about if I move it about halfway? And I'm what I'm doing is I'm using the the lines on the grid to kind of align everything and to make sure that everything is kind of aligned. So now what I can do is the middle of this and this is at 15. So now I can line this up on the 15 and I can see the line of the grid right in here so that's awesome now the the ruler shouldn't move and now I just have to remember to just go once not back and forth just the once and look at that I just created two pockets that's awesome so now I have two pockets and I didn't have to do a whole bunch of measuring because I used my grid and I just did that one thing I would caution it's actually marking my mat like bad so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have because I have several mats I'm going to have a mat that's dedicated only to the fuse and then it, it won't matter to me if it gets all, you know, kind of punctured and everything. But this mat does matter to me. So I'm not going to be doing that with that. So now let's see if I wanted to make this pocket so that it was full of sequins or wood veneer or whatever the case may be. I just stick everything in there and then come around and just seal it. And then I have this pocket that nothing will come out and then you'll be able to see it from both sides so if you want to slip a card in there first and put something different on the other side you could do that too so I mean the possibilities are endless so now you can take a regular 12 by 12 
page protector and you can make it whatever you know configuration that you want so if you want to divide it right in two and make it two six by twelve or you know four four six by six or whatever the case may be you can just do it or if you want to make little little ones you could you know, seal it and then with the other tool and you'd have to wait for this to cool cool off because it's hot then you would put this one in and actually I would cut it first what I would do is I I would put this one in put a piece of chipboard in between here cut your page protector where you want it to go like where you want the slit and then put this back in and then seal it right above so that this pocket will be open and then this the second one would then be open at this spot so what I'm going to do is um, whenever during my project life or anything when I actually do some of these things I'm actually going to show you on camera how I do it but I mean I showed you here how it totally fused that pocket and then it also made it so that this thing won't keep falling out anymore like it's stuck in there it ain't going anywhere where before it was always falling out so that's what I like I'm going to go through my December daily and there's quite a few like that that was falling out so I mean I wouldn't even have to do it the whole way I could just come in and just do you know a little bit just so that it stops this cards you know coming out so let's I don't want to do too much on my mat because I know it's wrecking my mat so that's one thing I would recommend is um, get a mat specifically for that let's do one more this one I'm not going to do all the way I'm just going to do part way and only once <laughs> I'm so used to wanting to do things back and forth so this worked this card isn't going anywhere anymore so that's it um, the fuse by memory keeper and I know that Becky Higgins also has one that's you know project life brand and they look exactly the same so I give the we are memory keeper fuse tool two thumbs up so thanks for watching. Bye.